Okay, quick tip here guys, so here I've got a set of XS20A, uh, these are the BL Heli S uh, DYS ESCs, they're very very good, um, and one of the problems that you have with these if you want to go D-Shot is the signal capacitor, um, that will actually um, cause you problems when it comes to running a digital signal, um, so what we need to do is get rid of the capacitor on, uh, across the signal, so um, in the case of the version 1 or 1 point anything of the XS20s um, there's actually a little location here I'm just pointing to it with my spudger now it's this capacitor here right on the edge of the board that's the guy that's got to go now if you've got a version 2 XS20 um, then the capacitor's in a different location it's a slightly different layout um, when you go onto the wiki for D-Shot you'll actually see uh, an area where they'll actually go through all the different versions of the different ESCs that are compatible and what speeds they're capable of so this will do D-Shot 600 but that signal capacitor will need to go otherwise it's going to do some very very unpleasant things so the way that I choose to do it on something this small and I might upset a few people here but um, stick with me here um, Normally, this is an incredible. Like, I've got quite a fine tip solder here, soldering iron here, and you know, look at the size of it compared. You know, it completely dwarfs this capacitor. Um, but it is possible to sit there and very gently heat this up and start messing around. Let me tell you the way that I deal with something like this because these capacitors are only surface tacked onto here with a tiny, tiny piece of solder. So the easiest thing to do is actually what I will do. What I will do here with these, and I've done this to a lot of uh, ESCs. You know, probably. Uh, 16 at least now and it's absolutely fine to do so if you're feeling brave is actually just to flick it straight off the board um, if, if you know you don't want this to be nice and, and hot or anything you want to make sure it's cold because the colder it is the more brittle the solder is um, but as I said there's such a tiny amount so I will take you see this has got like a little lip I will actually put the lip on this this side of it because I'm going to drag it off this way and then I'm going to use my uh, finger as a point of leverage so I'm not stressing any other part and I'm just going to do that and if we look there it is there's the capacitor and there's the two points where it was very lightly tacked on of course there's nothing's been lifted no traces have been lifted it's literally as simple as that look it's actually stuck to the is it stuck to the spudger where's it gone it's so tiny it's already gone no there it is look there you go that is the capacitor absolutely tiny little thing and there's the points where it was uh, where it was uh, solder tacked on there straight on top so as you can see very little stress required on something that small very easy to remove and you know if you wanted to you could store that and then re uh, reheat it solder it back on at a later date but as simple as that that is now D shot ready D shot 600 ready so uh, don't be scared just take your time line it up nicely work it out remove it if it's a single cap that's further in most of the ones I've worked on have been quite easy to get to and they've all been on the edge if it's further in you have to be a lot more cautious but this is just one option for how you can remove a signal cap that is quick and easy uh, and then gets you on the road to having some more d-shot fun so hope you enjoyed that tip hope it's useful see you in the next one